Hey there guys, it's Amit, you're watching Dev Dreamer, and welcome to lesson number 12 in JavaScript. In this lesson, we're going to learn all about the string data type. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe down below and choose all notifications so you never miss an update. Okay, so welcome back to lesson number 12. So in this lesson then, let's learn all about the string data type. Whenever we want to represent data that is text, we need to distinguish this data from the rest of our code. And we do this by wrapping the text data inside quotation marks. This is called a string. Now in JavaScript, a string is basically text data. The word string comes from the phrase string of letters or string of characters. Let's see how to declare a new string. Now there are three main ways we can do this. A string can be enclosed in double quotes, single quotes, or the more modern way of writing strings, which is using backticks. Let's look at these three in a bit more detail. So let's go ahead and create a variable. So I'm going to say let book be assigned the value of, and we're going to be using double quotes here for our first string. And it's going to have the title, the magician's nephew. Okay, so this is an example of using double quotes. We can also use single quotes. So here I'm going to say let author this time be assigned the value of, we're going to use single quotes. And in here, let's say CS Lewis. Okay, so this is an example of using single quotes to create our string. And finally, we can also use backticks to create a string. So let's say let series be assigned the value of and this time we're going to use backticks and inside here let's say the chronicles of Narnia and this is an example of backticks okay so we have three ways in which we can create a string using double quotes using single quotes and then the more modern way of writing strings which is using backticks now why do we have three different ways to create a string well the first two double and single quotes are basically the same However, the more modern way of writing strings with backticks provides some extra functionality. The correct term for this type of string is actually a template literal, or it's sometimes referred to as a template string. We'll look at these in more detail in an upcoming lesson. So in this lesson, we're just gonna be focusing on double and single quotes. So when creating strings then, we're free to choose between either double quotes or single quotes. And for the most part, they'll be fine. However, let's look at an example that could cause a problem. What if we needed to include quotation marks within our actual string? For example, let's say, let dialogue be assigned the value of, and let's use double quotes here. And here we're going to say, John asked, and John says, what is the time? Okay, so obviously you can see we've got some errors here. Console gives us an error as well. So what's going on? Well, the problem that we have here is that this second double quote here is being interpreted by JavaScript as the ending of our string. Okay, so this is the opening double quote mark. Then we've got some text, and then it comes across this second double quote mark here, and it says, okay, well, that's the string finished right there. Then we've got this extra stuff on the end, which is causing an error. So this double quote here is being interpreted as the closing double quote of our string, when in fact it's just the opening quote for John's dialogue. Now to combat this issue, we can just use single quotes inside double quotes. So we can change these to just single quotes, change that to a single quote and change this to a single quote as well. Okay, now as you can see, that's fine. We get no errors. And we can also use these the other way around as well. So if we got rid of these, we can say single quotes to create our actual string. And then inside that, we can say that we're going to use double quotes for any quotation marks we need in there. Once again, that works absolutely fine. So whenever we need to use quotation marks within our string, just make sure that you're using different quotation marks inside the actual string than you've used to actually create the string. Let's introduce another potential problem. What if our string required the use of more quotation marks? For example, let's change this to say, John said, let's get rid of this. And instead, let's make John say, please don't do that. So now you can see we have another problem. So here you can see that JavaScript is using this apostrophe or this single quote here as the ending of our string. And then it's just got this text on the end. Now in this situation, the previous fix will no longer work because we need to use an apostrophe in the word don't. Well, luckily, JavaScript has a set of special characters that we can use for just such an issue. Whenever we want to escape quotation marks, we can just use the backslash just before the quote. So here, I'm going to say backslash, and now you can see that error has gone because we've actually escaped this character. So now JavaScript understands that this single quote mark here is part of the string value. And in fact, using the backslash character to escape characters, we can actually use the same quotation marks within our string. So for example, let's go ahead and change this to a double quotation string. Okay, and now so we've got double quotations for the actual string. Inside that we're using double quotations as well. And now here using the backslash character, we can just go ahead and escape those quotes. And now you can see that works absolutely fine. 
Now, what if we actually wanted to use a backslash within our string? So for example, down here, let's say let backslash be assigned the value of, this is a backslash symbol. And let's go ahead and put a backslash symbol in. So of course, this draws an error because JavaScript thinks that we are trying to escape this last double quotation mark. So in order to write an actual backslash symbol, we just simply say double backslash. Now, if we save this, that's absolutely fine. Let's go ahead and log this to the console. And as you can see, we get our symbol right there. So as you can see, the backslash character really comes in handy when writing strings. Now, JavaScript provides us with some other special characters as well. They're not really of much use to us today though, so I won't be going through them. I will, however, leave a link to them in the description box below. So do go ahead and check them out. So guys, that's pretty much everything you need to know about the basics of creating strings. To summarize this lesson then, we can create strings in JavaScript in three different ways. We can use double quotes, single quotes, or the more modern way of writing strings, which is to use backticks. We can use both types of quotes, that is single and double in the same string declaration, making sure the quotes used to create the string are different to the quotes inside the string. And finally, JavaScript provides us with a special character to escape quotation marks, which is the backslash character. Okay, so let's take a look at your tasks for this lesson. So for task number one, I want you to create three variables called S, D, and B, and then set their values to the text single, double, and backtick, each one using the relevant type. For task two, create a variable called speech, and then set its value to Martin Luther King said, I have a dream. Make sure to use speech marks and make sure there are no errors, and then console log the speech. And finally, create a variable called tip and set its value to we can escape quotes by using the backslash, and then finally console log the tip. So as always, go ahead and pause the video, Try these out, and when we come back, we'll take a look at the answers. Okay, so how'd you get on then? Let's see. So for task number one then, we're gonna say let s be assigned the value of, and we're gonna use single quotes there, and that's gonna be assigned the value of single. Let's say let d be assigned the value of double, using double quotation marks. And finally, let b be assigned the value of backtick, using backticks. Okay, nice and simple. For task two, we're going to say let speech be assigned the value of, let's go ahead and use single quotation marks here because we know that we need to use double quotes for the speech. So inside here, let's just go ahead and copy this. Okay, and for the actual speech then, we're going to surround these in double quotes. And then we need to console log the speech. Let's just use the console directly. So speech, okay, that looks fine. And then finally for task number three, create a variable called tip. So let tip and set its value to we can escape quotes by using backslash. So we'll use double quotes for this. And again, let's go ahead and copy this. And remember the backslash symbol will actually escape characters. So we need to say double backslash in order to actually write a backslash symbol. Let's go ahead and log this to the console. And once again, that works absolutely fine. We've got our backslash symbol in there. Okay guys, so that's pretty much everything you need to know about how to write strings in JavaScript. In the next lesson, we're going to be looking at something very useful called string concatenation, which is just a big fancy word that means joining strings together. So be sure to tune in. If you're finding these videos helpful guys, don't forget to comment, share, like and subscribe down below. Get practicing and I'll see you on the next one.